So this is a quick video that looks at different ways in which you can get help in Canvas on how to go about using different things in Canvas. So let's say I'm somewhere in Canvas and I'm working on my course here and I come across something that I don't know how to do. So in this case I happen to be on a page and I'm editing a page and let's just say I wanted to do something I don't know anything. I wanted to put in a, a video and there's a bunch of different video options up here for me and I don't know which one is the best to use or which one I should use. So there's a couple of different things that I can do, but they're all basically in the same area. So one of the things that I could do is I could reach out to my local Canvas administrator or the Canvas champion in my particular program or department or college. But the much more efficient way is if I go over here to the left-hand menu, you'll see that there's this help button there. And when I click on it, I get a number of different options, some of which are specific to students, and they just list them there so that as a faculty member I can see what they are. And then there's some that are specific to me. So as an example, the Ask Your Instructor a Question is obviously geared towards the students, as is the Canvas Support Hotline for students, and the Chat with Canvas Support for students. Now, if it's something that happened in Canvas and you know that canvas something went wrong like if I was over here editing this page and all of a sudden all of my text disappeared or the page just stopped working or whatever that's a problem and I really want to use this report a problem function here but if it's something that I just don't know how to do it there's a couple of different ways in which I can go about doing it the first is that I can click on this search the canvas guides and it opens up in a new window here and I can go in and I can click on the Canvas Guides. And in this case, I'm an instructor. And here's all the different functions that it talks about in Canvas. So I happen to be in the pages at the time, so I'm going to click on that one. And you'll see it brings me to a list of questions. So depending upon what I wanted to do. So I mentioned that maybe I wanted to embed a video into my course. So it asks, how do I embed a video in the course? Or into a page in a course and when I click on that it actually takes me through and gives me screenshots so first I go to the pages button and then it clicks on the pages button there see and then I go and I find the page that I want I click on the edit function and then it walks me through how to go in and actually embed this particular item into my course and all of the main things that as an instructor that I might like to do around all of these different topics are posed here in this particular instructor guide in the form of questions. So if I was looking at, let's go back and say I was doing something with assignments, you know, here's the list of different questions of the different things that I can do in Canvas that are typical questions that an instructor might have about assignments. Now, Let's say I look through this and, and my question is not there. I can't find the answer. Well, there's a couple of ways that I can interact with Canvas. Uh, here within the Toro University and College system, we actually pay for the Tier 1 support with Canvas, which means that we have access to both the toll-free number here and the chat function here. So if I wanted to use the chat function, all I'd have to do is just click on the chat, it opens me up into a new window and I'm going to click start chat. It'll ask me for my name and my email address and I'm just going to say quick page question and I'm a teacher and then it'll ask me sort of what level of so, well, they call it severity, but I always think about it in terms of how quickly do I want them to interact with me. Obviously, if it's an extreme critical emergency, you'll get pushed ahead in the queue, so I wouldn't recommend you do that unless it actually is. Typically speaking, I always pick one of these two at the bottom. It's a casual question, or it's not urgent, I just need to figure out how to do something, because that's typically... I think where most of us fall. So I'm just going to use it, the last one here. And then I click on start chat. And it starts to bring up my chat. And in most cases, this will actually connect pretty quickly. 
So right now it's just waiting. So I'm kind of on hold here as I'm doing it. Um, usually you will wait about two or three minutes or less. One of the things that I'd strongly recommend is that if you have to wait for more than five minutes as you are looking to connect to an agent, regardless if it is here or through the toll-free number, that you contact Jim O'Connor, myself, or your Canvas administrator on your campus because the nature of the support that we've subscribed to indicates that you should get a real person prior to that point. So if you're waiting longer than five minutes, please let one of us know because uh, we need to sort of log those types of things. But typically it's two or three minutes that you have to wait as you're looking to interact with somebody live here. And um, these folks are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. So regardless of when you happen to be working on your course, um, if you do need help, these folks should be available to you. So as you can see, it took pretty quickly uh, in terms of the amount of wait time that I had there. I'm just letting the person know because they actually have a transcript of this and it actually gets the log of our session will get sent into Tor 1 so that they can see the different types of things that are happening within the system. One of the things that you'll get when you're finished with this is you actually have the ability to download the transcript so that you can actually get a copy on your computer of the in directions that the person gave you or if they sent you any uh, links or any images that you know showed you what to do or sent you to a guide and I always recommend leaving this window open for a minute because if you go over here and then try to do whatever it is that you wanted to do and you can't still you know you thought you were good and that you'd be able to figure this out uh, based upon what the individual said but when you get over here and get into the guts of it, it you get lost again you can always reconnect the chat right here by clicking on this button and that'll bring you back to the uh, not necessarily the same representative but the individual who it takes you back to will have access to the transcript that you just went through um, without you having to remember the case number or anything like that so that's the chat function, and I'm going to close this out here now. The other one that we have here is this Canvas support line, so this toll-free number. And again, that should work roughly the same way. So if I want to call that number, if I had a specific question, So just calling the number Thanks here now. Thanks for calling now. Canvas Support. A support agent will be with you in a moment. Your call will be recorded for monitoring purposes. To leave a voicemail, dial 1 at any time. And again, with the call support, it's probably going to be between a 2 and 3 minute wait to get somebody. But... Canvas Support, my name is Chase. Can I get your first and last name? Hi there, Chase. This is Michael Barber calling from Toro University. I'm actually just creating an instructional video here for my faculty on how to access the different Canvas support options. So I wanted to show them how quickly this was going to be. So I won't take up any more of your time, but I just wanted to get all of this as part of the recording. Hey, let, let them know that they're, they're, we're more than happy they contact us. We're glad to help. All right. Appreciate that. Thank you much. <laughs> take, you, take care, Michael. <laughs> Bye. So before I even got a chance to explain to you that if you had to wait more than five minutes to let uh, Jim O'Connor and myself know, as you can see, the agent there picked up and 
Uh, hopefully you were able to pick up his end of the conversation on the recording, at least uh, a little bit of it, um, which he encouraged you to use this option as well. So those are sort of the main areas that you see in here. Now, there's a couple of other options that you have down here at the bottom. Uh, one is ask the community. So if you have something that is a little bit um, different in terms of how you want to go about doing something. So you know that you were able to do X in a former LMS or you really don't know what it is you're trying to do, you know, that you do this in the classroom and you'd like to try to do something similar online. The ask a community option is, is a useful one. So when you click on that, it'll often ask you to log in and you can log in with your uh, the same Tor one credentials that we use uh, to log into Canvas. And essentially it allows you to just go in and post a question about, you know, whatever it is that you're asking about. And then that will allow other people within the Canvas community to give you suggestions on how you might try to do X or Y in Canvas uh, instead of having to do it in the classroom or you're already using a third-party tool now and you'd like to see if Canvas might be able to do that. The final option that you have here is this submit a feature idea. One of the nice things about Canvas is that it's a relatively young learning management system at least compared to many others so it has the flexibility in that literally every month it's coming out with new features and upgrading the different aspects of the system. So if there's something that Canvas doesn't do that you would like to see it do, you can click on this submit an idea. And if you're not already logged in, you can see we're still logged in from when we went to ask the community a second ago. But the first thing you want to do is search to see if your idea has already been suggested. And then if it is, you can read about how they go, you know, how they recommended it in the first place to see if you would make any sort of changes to it. Because you can leave a comment to other ideas that have been presented. And if there's one that you, it's not there, so if there's something that, you know, isn't there at all, you can actually go in and make a new recommendation for something. And I've seen that a lot of faculty uh, within the Toro College and University system have actually been into the Canvas community and have been making recommendations for things that they would like to see Canvas do. So these are the different options that you have when you're looking at getting help in Canvas. And I'd encourage you to use whichever of these particular options is most convenient and expedient for you. So this is a quick video that looked at the different help features in Canvas, many of which are actually useful to use in order to learn the different functions of Canvas and how to go about doing different things that you'd like to include within your course inside of the Canvas Learning Management System.